Okay, what are freeze frames in auto diagnosis? Now this is actually, this is a part of a program uh, called OTILS, um, let me get over to the EOBD Facile, okay, and there's a, there's a few programs, they, they look different but they all come up with the same information. I made a uh, screen capture of the uh, freeze frame information, so I have two pictures here I'm looking at for diagrams. Now a freeze frame is, well the, the option is yeah, it's right over here and when you click on it, it, it does like, uh, it takes 10 seconds and then it uh, brings up all this information on the side here. Now I made the mistake of, of copying it twice, I did it before I dri drove and then after I drove because I had no idea what freeze frame meant. And I was like, "Wow, these these uh, uh, these these numbers—they look the same." And also, I never even hit 36 miles an hour. I the most I got was maybe 15 miles an hour. So I was like, "Wow, this is this is really odd." So so it took me a while to figure out that the freeze frame happened when the the code P0420 occurred, and then my computer saved all the information into the the car. The car held on to the information with all the sensors so that I could look at it later. <clears throat> and and uh, this this is another problem I've had with my car, okay? Um, I've got several problems, so I'm on, under the impression that this last free, this last trouble code is the most recent trouble code. I, I have several others before that. I've been driving with trouble codes for a while and even though I saved it twice it doesn't it only saves the last trouble code so you want to be on top of that and it can be helpful to use this app along with this little this little OBD reader every time you get a, a check engine light or if you're gonna leave your check engine light on like me, <laughs> make a make a freeze frame maybe every month to see if anything has changed um, because the, the the check engine lights, uh, you know, you can't really tell if a new problem comes up or not so if you keep that check engine light on, like I have for years. And I've driven now with this last trouble code for now it said so many miles. It said miles on it somewhere. Um, no, I, I just, where, it was like 5,000 miles it said that I, I drove with that, with that trouble code. You, you could see I, it was, it was caught, uh, in, in the moment with, with this, the, the, out, the intake, it was, it's a, like, this is practically the outside air, it was 57 degrees might have been in the summertime that it happened because it's 5,000 miles ago and it might have been warmer back then so I try not to drive too much um, let's see short-term fuel uh, you know, it's hard for me to s judge right now what what all is what all was wrong I'd take this to a an auto mechanic or spend more time on the internet I was going well the engine and RPMs were okay yeah, I was going 36 with engine RPMs at that, maybe I was in third or fourth gear. Um, yeah, I thought I had the the miles. All right, so that's that's somewhere else. There's another there's another option. I might have been in the trouble codes section. You'd look further to see how many miles you're driving with uh, with a trouble code. This trouble code is a coolant, I believe. I saved that. Yeah, C catalyst. Just the catalyst. So you can see that these are all my trouble codes. They're just mounting on top of each other right now. And the latest is the catalyst. So if that's the latest, all these others came before it. The fuel sensor and the, and, and the coolant came before the catalyst as, as problems. But I just kind of let them, I just kind of ignored them not the best idea yeah so that's information on my my uh, Ford Focus um, for the freeze frame 
it's interesting.